I was investigating an adultery case for a rich man when I accidentally witnessed the death of a man named Jake McLean, a murderer who managed to escape justice. I started to dig further in that direction and found several more strange deaths. All people that maybe belong behind bars, but not in a cemetery. deaths are all connected, yet the police waved me aside like a fly. I'll need an old friend's help to sort out this tangled mess. Mal, your friend was killed because he uncovered something. We need to tell the police. No, not yet. I want to find the one who did this. This is personal, Dana. I need your help here. Okay, I'll help. I know the doctor who prescribed this medication. It's not much, but it's a start. Why don't you go check Robert's case files? Whoever this killer is, they seem to think they're the hand of justice, targeting those that avoided punishment. I just hope I can catch them before Mal gets himself in trouble. Dr. Whitman. Dana, how are you? I haven't seen you since you quit the force. You stopped coming to us. I'm fine, doctor. I still miss Ursula, but I'm learning to live with it. I need your help with something. Who was this prescription for? I'm sorry, Dana. You know I can't share that. Patient confidentiality, of course. If you'd like to make an appointment for psychiatric help...
What kind of maniac hunts people down? Although if he's only hunting criminals, maybe what he really needs is mental health, not prison. Please calm down, Matthew. Don't be silly. We can discuss this. 